Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new AI audio assist feature in DaVinci Resolve 20, and it'll allow you to basically automate your entire audio process, though you will still need to do some fine tuning. So here's how it works. So this is my project and I've already done a fair bit of the audio work on this, but you can generally drop your stuff in raw. So I've already done some leveling on the music, chopped up my audio for my voice, etc. But the new audio assist feature is going to be able to do this for you. So in order to find the feature, you're obviously going to need DaVinci Resolve 20. Then you just go up to the timeline option, go to the new AI tools feature, and then select audio assistant. This will bring up a new option here. So you'll have AI audio assist where you can choose the delivery method. So because this video will be for YouTube, I just select YouTube and then click audio mix. Then the AI will go through the entire process and go through that checklist there. And the best part is this is all run locally using your computer's hardware. So depending on your hardware, this might take longer or shorter, but overall it's still pretty quick. As you can see, as it goes through the steps, it reorganizes everything. It sets everything up in dialogue options, music options, and it color codes everything as well. It also deals with leveling and moving tracks around in certain orders to place things where they should be. Now this feature is still obviously in beta, so that's going to be a little bit hit and miss sometimes for some people on some projects. But overall, if you've done a fair bit of the work yourself already, it's pretty much flawless. Like this project here will come out with me almost needing to do no changes. That said, you can place all of the stuff on the timeline roughly in the position you want and let it go through there as well and you'll get very similar results. So that's the entire process complete. It did take a little while, it took about five or seven minutes, but there was a fair bit to do and the project is about 15 minutes long. So it's organized everything into dialogue options, music options, sound effects options, color coded it, organized the audio dipping where it needed to be, and then just move things around a little bit here and there. So if you haven't already tried this feature and you do have DaVinci Resolve 20, I highly suggest giving it a go. One thing I suggest before doing this is to make a copy of your timeline just in case something does happen and you can't revert back. It's pretty much standard procedure anyway, but with a better feature like this, it's definitely worth doing. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.